addition to the irreparable human casualties caused by the outbreak of the virus in the world, more than 100,000 people have been killed. We want to look at the economic losses caused by the COVID-19 virus. South Korea's central bank said in a report that its reserves had reached $409 billion by the end of February, down $480 million from the previous month. Experts say the main reason for the decline of South Korean central bank was first intervention in the country's foreign exchange market to stabilize markets due to the corona. According to the Electronic Banking News site, Richard Croswell Wright, Director of Globalization and UNCTAD Development Strategies, said our forecast is that global economic growth will slow to 2%, which means that global GDP will return to September. The organization also predicted in its pessimistic scenario that the global economy would suffer a loss of $2 trillion. Schools, universities, tourist centers, industrial centers, air and rail and land travel agencies and sport activities are all closed. Some families have lost their tears and suffer psychological damage. If the Chinese government had dealt with the issue honestly and responsibly, would have been its problem? Who will pay for the damage caused by this tragedy?